Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the card of the day for the 31st of May 2016. Um, first, before I do the card, can I just please say uh, I'm really, really sorry about last week and there being no cards again. Um, I was a little bit poorly again. I did come back and I did do a couple of days and I thought I was, I thought I'd beat it and I thought I was on top, but unfortunately I wasn't. So I had to do a few more days rest and recuperation, but I'm feeling great now and hopefully it, it stays that way. So massive apologies for that, and I'm really, really sorry. I do, I do try and do the cards uh, every day when I can, but sometimes life just gets in the way. Okay, so that's it. That's out the out the way now. Back to today's card, and back to the fabulous, fabulous energy with this as well. Uh, the card that I've pulled for today is the Eight of Wands. Now this card absolutely amazing energy it really made me smile when I pulled it this morning um, so when this card shows up it always signifies sort of movement you know changes things things are happening you know change change is coming um whether you like it or not really <laughs> there's when the eight of wands comes in there's no holding back you know when I always look at this card uh the first thing I always get is I feel that this is something that as the seeds have been planted in the past. So this is something actually, yes, it's coming out of the blue. And yes, it could take you by surprise. But if you trace it back, it's something that happened a long time ago where the initial seed was planted, the initial idea was born, or you had even the initial thought. So what I'm getting with this, I'm getting a real... It's a real card of manifesting, I think. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people do vision boards and things like that and set intentions. But often we we set intentions without even thinking. We then sort of forget them. And then it's not until they come to fruition that we're suddenly like, right, OK. Um, I remember years and years ago, the first vision board I ever done, we're, we're talking probably about 11 years ago now. And I made it, I made it on the computer, I printed it out and I put it away and completely forgot about it. Two years later, I was actually sorting my studio out. I'm a, a photographer and I was going in to sort that out. And I found this vision board. And when I looked at it, every solitary thing that was on it, I actually had in my life. Even down to the car that I was driving was exactly the same car that was on my vision board. Even though that wasn't the colour I wanted, that was the only picture that I could find at the time. And that was the car. I'd managed to get a good deal on this specific car and I'd had to take the colour I didn't want. And that was the colour on my vision board. So like I say, I know a lot of times with when we, we talk about manifesting and intentions, it's about holding the thought and holding the thought in your head. But it can often work as well when we just forget the thought, you know, because when we've forgot it, there's no doubt we're not we're not sitting waiting for it. We just we just sort of get on with our daily life and then bingo, it turns up. So this is very um, significant, I think, with this card. Like I say, I feel it's something that where it has links to the past or it has roots in the past that is now going to suddenly come and take you by surprise. But I really feel that this is in a good way. You know, this is like it's like fate and the universe have got together. And they're about to give you a helping hand. You know, it's like they've been talking, thinking, you know what? They deserve a little bit. Come on, we can make this happen for them. So please ex be ready to expect the unexpected as well. Um, when I looked at this card, I always get a feeling of strength with it as well. And strength is linked with Leo. Uh, so Leo is sort of back end of July, August as well. So I don't know if this is going to be straight away. It could be. But, you know, it is going to be something that is going to carry on, I feel, throughout the summer and as we go into autumn as well. So what I want with this, what I want to say as well is like, don't hesitate when this happens, because a lot of times the energy with this card can really, it can really sort of scare us a bit. I think anything that has this high energy can actually be scary as well. And as, as long like changes you know, change is scary as well. But with this, I want you to embrace it. You know, like I say, you're being given a gift here. Something is going to come out of the blue 
and something is this something is it's it's there to help you it's a gift it's an opportunity that you are being given so please don't hesitate too much about it you know really like strike while the iron's hot grasp it with both hands you know any of their metaphors at all you know but please just don't let this go because I feel like at the moment things seem to be pretty much up in the air you know but when this card comes in if we have a look you know the, these rods are actually on their way to land you know they're ready to hit their target so things are going to start happening and it's like I say it's, it's like your feet won't touch the ground so don't let that scare you just try and stay grounded and go along like like Allow yourself to be swept up in it, you know, but keep your feet on the ground, if that makes sense. Um, they're just showing me there it, a really strange um, image I'm getting. You know, when we have like sort of really bad winds or typhoons or, you know, whatever, it shakes everything up. But then when everything settles, there's this calmness again. And it's sort of like it clears the air. And this is what I'm feeling is happening with this at the moment. I think things are up in the air. They have been for quite some time. Um, but this is, it's like there is going to be this shake-up. But then when everything settles, I really feel it's going to like clear your path. They're saying clear your path, clear the way. So any obstacles that you feel that you've like gone up against this last six month or this last eight month, you know, be prepared that I do feel they're going to, they're going to go, you know, they're, they're, they're going to start to part. Um, so like I say, a really, really nice card with, with this, you know, just please try not to panic. You know, um, a lot of times this, this card is referred to as the arrows of love as well. It's like, like Cupid's ready and they're going to shoot their, shoot their arrows. So if you are single, you know, if, even if you're not single, be prepared. You might be swept off your feet in some way. Somebody might just come into your life out of the blue and bang, you know, that instant attraction. Because this energy, the energy with this card is really, really powerful, you know. And like I say, it always indicates change as well, you know. So, um, I know it, 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 it's, it's, it's crazy, this energy. And I know it's hard to say stay within like like don't get caught up in it don't get caught up in the chaos or the madness because i really feel if you just go with it allow yourself to just go with it that is going to actually make it easier as well you know just cut yourself a little bit loose everything doesn't have to be regimented and just know that wherever you're being guided it's you're being guided in the right the right way you're the, the right, you're being guided to the right destination. Sorry, that, that's what they've just said there. Um, so it's like all of the pieces will just start fitting together, you know, and you are able to see like the bigger picture for the first time in a long while as well. Um, when we look at the card there, I don't know if you can see the words on here, but the only ones I can make out is grazie, which is thank you, you know, so again, this is like the manifestation, you know, be grateful for what you are about to receive because it is going to enhance, enhance your life in some way. Um, now, when I initially picked this card, uh, I've had these cards years and years and years. Um, but when I initially picked it, I seen something in it that I've never seen before. And I don't know if you can notice it. I'm going to get in as close as possible there. This actually looks like an otter. There's a little otter just, just looking over the hill there. Now, otter, when you have otter as a totem animal, what the otter is, it, it's about just going with the flow. You know, it's about freedom. It's about letting go and just going with the flow, which is exactly what I've just said with this card as well. We also have the pheasant here. Now, the pheasant, again, you know, any birds within tarot often indicate freedom. Um, but the pheasant is also linked with perseverance, you know. So it's like, you know, just carry on going. You are about to get your rewards and your hard work and your perseverance that you've put in up until now is about to be rewarded. So, like I say, a really lovely energy coming in with this card. You know, a lot of excitement as well. You know, allow yourself allow yourself to feel this excitement because I really do think like good things are coming. I mean, have a look at all of the little the little shoots that are on there. You know, these are all opportunities. 
that are going to be presented to you. And I really feel that, like I said before, it's about all the pieces of the puzzle all fitting together. So it's like, I really feel a lot of things that have made no sense at all will actually start to make sense as well. Um, so it, it's, I don't feel there's nothing to worry about. Please don't, don't let this scare you. You know, I know change can be scary, but change is always good as well. And often we need change and this is about it's coming in whether you like it or not. But the good thing about it is, you know, it's all blue skies. There's there's not many clouds in that card. Um, and I really feel like I say, these 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 rods seem to be higher. So it's like you can see the bigger picture. You can now see if you have a look, you know, that these rods are flying over this town, over this village. So it's like you are taking a step out of your situation and being able to see clearer, you know, um, it's, it's, yeah, what, what's, what's that song, I can see clearly now, the, the rain is gone, yeah, that, that's, sorry, that, that's just came to me there, so this is, there's a clearing going on, you know, this movement, it's all about clearing, it's all about getting, sorting the wheat from the chaff, I think, as well, and actually about going forward, but there isn't anything to, to worry about so please don't let this cha change scare you um if something comes out of the blue don't let it unnerve you you know it's actually for you this it's it's going to be something that you you will be thankful for in the end so if you're going to work today and there's changes within work or something like that just right okay this is happening for me anything happens within your relationship remember it's happening for you you know, anything happens within your home life, anything at all, you know, it might throw you, it might be unexpected, but please just make that your mantra. I, I feel this week, make your mantra this week, say, you know, I'm going to stay grounded because I know that this is happening for me. And I think you will find out that, that it is. Okay, so lovely card today, lovely card to start again as well, start like a new week on, you know, really nice high energy card. Tomorrow we're going into June, which is, I have been saying for months, if any of you remember, that June is the month of changes. So I think that's why that card's just came in as well, to, to get us ready and get us prepared as well. So if anybody would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch either on my Facebook page, there's a book now button, uh, or email me at lovebuddhatarot at aol.co.uk. Uh, please subscribe to my channel as well. And if anybody likes these videos, then please, please share them. You know, it's it's that little bit support is nice and it's nice to get new people on board as well. So thank you very much for all you've done in the past as well. I, I do really, really appreciate it. And like I say, it's, it's nice to be back. I really missed you all last week when, when I wasn't working, you know, but I did need the break. So I've I always listen and when spirit tell me I've got a I've got it I've got a sort of strike a little bit. That that that's it, you know, I, I had to rest. So hope you like that card. I'll be back tomorrow with the card of today. Sat down. <laughs>